hey there so you've got this laptop here and you've taken it apart because the hinges are ripping their mounts out and you've probably followed one of my videos about epoxying hinges and uh, getting those mounts back together but the problem remains that they'll rip their mounts right back out if you don't do something about it so what are you going to do about it here's what you do about it Here's how a hinge is put together. Some hinges have this reinforcement that goes up the side, but many modern ones simply do not. This will be the LCD side of the hinge, and this will be the side that goes to the base. And one of the things that you'll notice is that the problem that ripped the mounts out in the first place is that the hinge is very, very tight. When you go to close the hinge it's like argh, argh, I can't do it but after you're done doing what I'm going to show you you'll be able to close it although with some difficulty by hand so that is actually the first step is to extract the hinge from the body you don't necessarily have to get it out of the lid assembly like I did but get it out of the body and get it to where you can close it because when it's like this you don't really have a prayer but go ahead and you know if it's installed in the body like this then close it whatever but one way or the other get it to where the hinge this part right here is maximally visible let me see if i can get it in focus for you oh yeah that's a nice close focus do not use needle nose pliers for this they will not work needle nose pliers do not grab onto this properly you need to use flat pliers or better yet use a proper socket or a uh, adjustable wrench if one will fit i have sockets but unfortunately you see this socket it's just a little bit too small so it doesn't quite fit and i had no choice but to resort to pliers, which is your last resort. Now, you take these pliers, and you see that nut right there, right? You get the nut where it's flat with the flat pliers like this, and you loosen it. Remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So we're doing it counterclockwise relative to the shaft, and it loosens it up. Now the hinge is even easier to open. In fact, since I've already done this one, it's too easy to open. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it back. Now here's the problem with this. You can't do this very easily um, with the laptop assembled, so you can't tell if it's too tight or not. Normally I'll take this nut pretty far back and then tighten it up. And you kind of have to develop a feel for this because what happens is you have to hand open it and this is way too tight now um, you have to hand open it to see if you think it will hold the screen up without flopping and it seems like this is still too tight so let's give it just a little bit more give and see I can actually tell it's too tight because it's bending the metal if you look real close right here See how that's bent now? Yeah, we don't want that. Um, it should open without bending. That's still too tight. Um, because the goal, ultimately, is for the screen to open without falling. Because if it's too loose, what will happen is just as bad. Instead of destroying your hinge mounts, it won't hold this 17-inch screen in this case. It won't hold it up and it'll just fall backwards, plop, uh, or fall forwards, plop. So you have to do this at the right tightness, and it is very much a matter of just, uh, a matter of just feeling it out and trying to guess what will work best. Now, I know this is a 17-inch screen, so it needs a little bit more tension than a 15 or a 14, but at the same time, if you can't open it with your hands with a little bit of struggle, then it's too tight. And if you can open it like, whoop, oh, that was easy, then it's way too loose. So you may actually have to put this back together to give it a shot and see um, if, you know, put it back in here and then just do a test where you hold the assembly up. So you would, um, you'd have it open like this with the screen on the hinge and just see 
uh, if it pulls the hinge down. Now, in this case, I know it's it's fine because, I mean, I can open it with my hand, so it's obviously not too tight, um, and that should be enough tension. I can just tell because of experience, but even if you don't have the experience, you can still kind of just tell, and the easiest way to deal with that is uh, you can put it back together, and if it doesn't work and it flops, then you can just tighten this nut a little bit more, and it should be good. That's how you fix the actual hinges. You don't have to order new hinges. You just have to loosen the existing hinges that are already part of your display assembly, and then you can fix the mounts and put these hinges back up to them, and the hinges won't destroy the hard work that you just did fixing those mounts. Yeah, thanks a lot. HP. Why is it always HP and Lenovo? Why does Dell not have this problem the same way? I have no idea. Asus, same thing. Yeah, I've had a few of every manufacturer, but it's always HP and Lenovo for some reason that have the most. Maybe they're the only ones that sell stupid cheap garbage laptops, but even then, even then, the, uh, yeah, anyway, that, that's a rant for another day. So I hope that this has helped you with your hinge tightness issue. Thanks for watching, and have a great one. Gotta have something that can act sort of like a... Oh, come on, don't call me. After that annoying interruption.